Welcome back everybody to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Previously, we almost beat the entirety of Melty Molten Galaxy. Today, we're gonna finish Melty Molten Galaxy and hopefully a comic shows up. I may be just like bullshitting you through two episodes of that there is a comet in this. I don't know. But last one, Fiery Dino Piranha. If you remember way back when I was talking about one of the bosses in the game, I said that Dino Piranha was a lot harder than one of the bosses in the game. And I said that to anyone who's played this game before knows the reskin of this uh, ferocious fauna discovered dinosaur. I don't know. But yeah, as I said, um, I said one of the bosses was a lot easier than I was like, I said like Dino Piranha was a lot harder than a boss. The clip should be up here now if I can't remember the words off the top of my head. But other than that, um, oh god. I did say that the second version of this one, to anyone who's played the game before, knows that uh, the second one of Dino Piranha is a lot harder. And I will stand by that statement. Because if you don't know what you're doing, or in general, some uh, other levels, it is kind of hard to uh, wrap your head around. Wrap your head around him? No, uh, like put your put your head around Fiery Dino Piranha. I'm not gonna say anything about Fiery Dino Piranha until we get to the boss fight. So don't worry about it. Go in the pipe. We pop in where the UFO was. Go on the sling start and, well, instead of grabbing Star Chip, you just have to get to the end. It's like. But yeah, you have to destroy all these, uh, I really don't know what the enemy names are. I think the last one should be near the front, if there is. There we go. Destroy all the enemies to get the launch star to appear to get to the rest of the level. Hoorah. Now we get to this part of the galaxy, or, yeah, this part of the galaxy where uh, you just have to uh, walk against the current of the planet's uh, movement. Go to this platforming section and we have to collect, the, again, our favorite starships. And get this health extension. I would say the health extension is kind of required for Fiery Dino Piranha. Says it's uh completely required and almost gets his ass burned. There you go. <coughs> Star spawns, I think, where we spawned in. So uh okay, I almost fell. Alright, I'm gonna just wait for this platform to show up. Huh. I did not expect myself to do the homie ground pound, but I'll take that. Go to that launch star, we get to this part. And then as you can see, a bunch of platforms. Go up here to go upstairs. Use that sling star to go past the um, lava pillar. More star bits. And we get a another Luma shop. I already have the health extension. I could just refresh my old health extension to grab another one, but there's a point here. Time for Fiery Dino Piranha. And as his name states, he is very fiery. Grab this coin and you'll see what I mean. Here you'll see the difference are almost immediately. His tail does get on fire, which makes it harder for you to get a hit because you actually have to wait for him to dim. Basically to just turn off. Anytime he's, he sees you, his entire body goes on fire. And then later, come on. There. So 
him. He'll get on fire. First hit you do on him, he'll make a fiery trail happen behind the uh, tail. Meaning, if you can't get away from him, he'll leave a you'll, he'll leave a trail. Meaning, it's harder to uh, grab anything for him. Last hit, he'll start shooting fireballs, which are very fun to deal with. And, uh, yeah. Hit him just before it light it up again. I said, Fire Dino Piranha is not that hard, not that harder than the original Dino Piranha, but if anything, the fire makes it more of a challenge because the fiery trail is just annoying to deal with, and you have to wait until all the uh, fire goes away. And. In general, just the fire itself, you have to wait for him to cool down to do damage. <sighs> so, hopefully I gotten everything in the game. I'm gonna go check again if we can do a comment. If not, I'll go to the, the prankster comment guy. Yep, there we go. A Daredevil comment for Melty Molten Galaxy. Last star for Melty Molten. And we get to do the Hungry Luma. And we get to beat the game. <coughs> Lava Spire Daredevil Run. So, if you thought that doing the Lava Spire itself was hard, uh, don't worry, this game got you. Do the entire mission. Do the entire mission as a daredevil. Ooh. Ooh. You get no coins from these people. You get no coins and anything. So yeah, it's just a stereotypical like daredevil run, but just for an entire star. So all the shit you gotta do, you gotta do it again, but with one hit. Have fun to the last prankster comment in the game where instead of making it fun, they make it still more tedious for you. Huh. If anything though, I have like 24 lives, so let's just see how much takes this takes. I guess I'll do commentary for like two to three more attempts and then I'll probably start cutting if this takes longer than those takes. And if anything, every time you die, your coin counter does reset which makes no sense in a daredevil run, but your star bait does not. So you can literally, like, if you can afford it, lose, all, lose a good chunk of star or lose a chunk of your life to grab uh, more star bits. Every 50 star bits, you get a one up. So uh, that's also a thing you can do. Fucking hell. I'm trying to get there and I cannot jump this is beautiful am i and no i'm not padding this up for watch time i recorded a two hour devil to canada video yesterday night and i should sit down and edit that and just upload it whenever i want because that is two hours not 40 minutes ah. Just stay here though and grab all the stars you can see from behind the lava spires if you don't want to progress and all that. But progression is what you need for completion. So keep going forward. Launch up correctly this time to the crystal. And we got another one up. And we can just continue the rest of this galaxy. I think the TV's a little too loud for me, but I don't think it's getting picked up by the mic. If you do hear some like faint background audio of the game, I am sorry. All right, so we can go up here, jump out to this. You can do the same thing as before. Go here, ground pound, get all the stuff that you want. Go on this again, and then get all these star bits for another double one up. There you go. 
and now we get to this part here no health extension in this one either so just go there's a galaxy in two where this mechanic does come back as a spoiler alert for you guys if you have not played two um it's not that bad or it, it's this is not as bad compared to the one and two the one and two is a lot worse in my opinion because of a certain enemy i'm not gonna say what the enemy is and i'm not gonna say what it is but if you've played two you understand what i mean that the one and two is a lot worse than the one and one so this is the one you can actually wait for for uh jesus christ for uh that so time for another constipation basically try to destroy as much of these things as you see because if they do burn you there's no checkpoints in this there in their double comments so take your time and just be a little vigilant on what you're doing all right <clears throat> wait for that guy wait for the steam generators to go off now we get to the final part of this galaxy the lava spire again but with one hp and if you remember when i did this previous episode uh i just did the wall jump with uh no wall jumping spin <laughs> I actually hit the fucking wall. Okay. So, uh, same shit as before. Same second verse. Same as the first. Just make it to the end. Your spin is your best friend in this scenario. So, just... If you can spin, take it as an option to spin. You don't have to do a uh, homie ground pound. Lower that, and then immediately just wall jump up. Two, three, spin up. Jump up. And we can go through the rest here. Avoid this if you want it. Sorry, let's go ahead. So. This, like, uh, fire enemy is actually one of the worst in the game because in a Daredevil comment, or in normal, he just doesn't do anything to you. He just a nuisance. But as you can see, he can, and he will, go to where you are spinning the crystals, and if your spin runs out before he hits you, he will hit you, and you will fail the Daredevil run. Yeah. So be a little mindful about him. But with that, we are done with the entirety of Multi Molten Galaxy. Now, we get to do the Hungry Luma, and we get to beat Super Mario Galaxy. So what is, what is our final, final Hungry Luma level? How much do you need? 1600. So, what is our galaxy gonna be? Snow Cap Galaxy. If anything, if I still lose a bunch of lives in Snow Cap Galaxy, this is still gonna be a pretty long episode because I want to beat the game. So, if this looks like too, if you look, if you look at the little progress bar the video bar and it says like something between 30 to 40 minutes just assume that i wanted to just actually beat the game and not save the end for an entire episode anyway go to the other side break the chest get on the sling star and we get to fight bunnies let's play chase can you catch us all before the time runs out so we have 150 seconds to go find three bunnies 
you can use your uh yeah you can use your your uh pointer for a way to move some of the snow and if anything there is something in this area that i want to open up is it here or is it on the other side other side oh they're in both sides okay so i just have to find all the switches hit all the switches and you will get something nice which is literally a place that all these bunnies can just be in also a fire flower so yeah use your pointer as a point of reference to find all the switches it opens that and that is literally a perfect place to just store all your bunnies so if you're chasing and they get up jump up and guide them towards the little open that you made once they're there you can leave them there and find the rest that's another one and i found where the last one is i think it's in the chest so let's just maneuver the bunny towards the uh the capture hole and let's grab this shell where is it there it is <clears throat> there you go yeah they, they open at both sides so you can catch one in one side and you can go to the second one and grab them as well two three this is more like a way to just secure yourself the star you can do it normally you can go chase after them but more likely than not you're gonna lose a lot of time chasing one so i would just say just get all the switches open up the uh the little placements because that's how you get a fire flyer for one of the uh, the bunnies and with that <coughs> the star so graciously placed us right in front of rosalino 98 stars so you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe sure i don't know what that new means but sure all right then off we go Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. The fate of the universe. Final star of the game. And if anything, after talking to our Luma friend that shows up here, I will stay quiet. Mama says this fight isn't just for us. It's also about saving the special one. Please be careful. Whatever you do, don't fail. <laughs> Those spotlights have their own gravity. Try to stick it to them. So now I will stay quiet for you guys to listen to the song. I 
think that's enough. So, final galaxy, final Bowser fight, final star, finality ensues. So, let's just go. So yeah, as Dylan was stated before, the uh, spotlights have their own gravity. And these tractor beams also have their own gravity, taking you towards the next star. You will go through different paths that you've walked before, so you get to walk between a fiery demise. Jesus Christ, I'm surprised I did not get burned from that. Down from the fire, we go to ice. And, oh god, I would just say these act like the trash in Space Chunk. So, be a little careful about them. And I would just say don't spin unless you know what to do. Backflip to just make this easier. From ice, from fire to ice, to sand. Reminiscent of our Dusty Dunes galaxy. Avoid the fire, avoid the quicksand, make it to the next track to be. Aw, I couldn't make it in time. What the fuck? <coughs> yeah, but at least it's. Oh god, what the fuck? This is some checkpoint though, so we get back to where we were doing. And they do give you a bunch of one ups. If you saw, they give you a one up in each area. There you go. So yeah, get the one-ups you can. Go on the next track to beam, go back to the ice, and there is a one-up near the launch star of ice. I would just say if you want to get farther into this, go spin, go do the ice skate, but in general, I will not recommend spinning. Get this second one-up, okay. Ice physics. Get there, then we get back to the sand. So yeah, go to the rest. Oh god. Be careful. Your spin is your best friend, so if you think you're gonna overcompensate or undercompensate, spin to halt your momentum to see if you can make it. Now we get to a space jump part. And what I mean by a space jump part, this just all put up. Now we get to more gravity. Just take it, get to the end here, and we get to, I think, our next checkpoint with a bunch of Bowser's statues and bullet bills. Use the, you can use the bullet bills to destroy the Bowser statues, they will give you coins and all that. So if you're, if you're missing life, go uh, use the bullet bills to your advantage. Also, there's just thwomps here with coins under them, so you don't have to use them. Later on, though, um... Did I clip through the ground? I think I clipped through the ground. Nope. Our checkpoint is space junk. Okay. Alright, there we go. We'll just keep running forward, running forward. If you get hit by a fire, don't worry. Just tank it and keep going. Listen, this, this galaxy does give you enough lives to grind off of and enough lives to just not game over unless you really suck and if you do suck uh i'm sorry now after all those sinking platforms we get into moving platforms and our introduction and our introduction to bonsai bills as if they wouldn't introduce more enemies to us they introduce bonsai bills they're just non-homing bullet builds. Just be careful with them. They will do damage, but they only go in a straight line. So if you see a bonsai build, just go to a side if you can. Like now. There goes bonsai. But the last one, and we can actually make it to where the launch start is and get to our final part. Camo. The biggest frontier. No. Here we go. 
<coughs> Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she with me. I read faster than I speak, so if I do cut off some text very way early, um, I'm sorry. So we're at the final part where we get to go towards Bowser. Jump on these platforms, and. But the junior will shoot meteors at our platforms, causing them to crumble. So I won't say it's a race against time because you still have enough time to go grab a health extension and a one up. But other than that, if you have enough lives to make it worth it, just skip the one up. Grab the health extension if you want. I always grab it because I it's funny and it's also just for good luck. Finally, you got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Mario, as you can see, I got big plans and stopping you is at the top of my list. Yay. So same shit as before. And I will stay quiet for a bit. This fight goes for so short that, if anything, the boss fight is not hurt correctly, and it's super sad. There you go. So the first part of the fight was just super simple. If you fought enough of the, uh, I almost said rock and roll enemies. If you fought enough of the enemies with the crystals on, with the, with the crystals on your eyes, you already know how to fight them. Second one is just as a normal spike rock. Hit him with these uh, balloons, and you can spin him. And as you've been hearing, the normal boss fight is more chill, mellow, and more in the face. But now I'll stay quiet again. during this fight this song is really effing good but it is criminal criminally short so yeah basically if the second part was just this but it was just hit him with the balloons to make him spin out Last part, he'll combine everything he has. Fire breath, jumps, and the spike ball to do damage. Hit him two times. All six, all three phases hit him two times and it's over, which is really sad. The song that plays for the final Bowser fight is so good, it is, but it's criminally short. The fight is so criminally short that if you want to hear the entire song for it to loop, you have to sandbag basically hopefully me just letting you hear it for a bit and kind of failing gave you enough to hear the song but i really did wish that you didn't have to sandbag to uh to get it to get the entirety of the song it's a beautiful song and i would recommend anyone to listen to it if they have anything to do so, we've gotten 
our last Grand Star. So, let's see what happens. And so, we have caused the Big Bang. <laughs> Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see.
Welcome! Welcome, New Galaxy! And that is all for Super Mario Galaxy. This game was a treat for me growing up. Have I owned this game before? No, I actually had to uh, buy it off the fucking eShop to play this game. It's a fun game. I really did enjoy this game. And when it got re-released on Switch for the 35th anniversary, I want... I just bought it just to see how Galaxy would play because though I do like Galaxy, the motion controls in the game are kind of weird because the only way you can do the spin attack is shaking the Wii remote in the Switch version is switch to a button, which makes timing your spins a lot easier. But with that out of the way, every single star we can have gotten is good. We've gotten all the stars we can. And we have made a brand new galaxy. And if anything, what Rosalina said at the end of the game is something true to actual science. That if you don't want to hear any other science, you could just literally skip to when I'm done with this talk, all right? She did say that most stars die into stardust. In real life, that actually does happen when a star lives its full reign up to a white dwarf, it can just explode into a cascade of stardust. And most new stars that are created into our universe are created through stardust of yesteryears. Have I said anything that is rightfully true? No, I could just be fucking with you guys and just literally pull anything out of my ass. But literally though, the ending of this game was really good and it did if you've not learned anything about how stars are made or how the whole creation of the universe was made this whole game at the end teaches you kind of something like the big bang how the universe was created first and foremost like basically a big bang theory and how stars are made and how other things retaining two stars are made as well but you don't have fun while doing that though the music in this game is also one of my favorites. Anyone who has sat down to listen to Super Mario Galaxy music knows that most of the galaxies have really good songs. The Cosmic Observatory is one of the most chillest scenes you can be in. One of the most chillest songs you can just relax to. Dusty Garden is known for being really good. The Final Bowser level is really amazing. Really pumps you up and same thing for a Final Bowser fight. Other than that, we are done with the base game of Galaxy 1. And yes, I do say base game. I will say this. Galaxy has been fun. And normally, you could just end the game here. You could just finish the game at 99 stars. I don't know if you should have 100, but 99 stars you should just finish doing all what you want to do. Galaxy 2 came after this, and if anything, Galaxy 2 was just like a DLC pack for Galaxy 1. But once I get to that game, I will say my same as about Galaxy 2. It's not a bad game, it's just the, the second third act 2 of Galaxy 2 sucks. But that's not here or there. Thank you all for joining me today, and thank you all for listening to me. Thank you so much for playing my game! A new chapter has been added to the storybook. And the fun begins next time. No launching today. I'll just play the Common Observatory music for the finale for this episode. Talk to you then.